Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. Being here as always and as everyone has said, is always a reason for great joy and light for us. A time of total imbalance, a time of surprises, not so good, is approaching. No one should be scared, much less afraid. The time is to trust. It's always that moment when the world will fall around you but you will land on your feet, because you trust. So this will be the biggest test. We have been telling you here for some time now, be ready. It's as if your world, as you like to say, has turned upside down. Everything will go out of order, nothing will make sense within what was determined and defined for you, a lot will change. These are exactly the changes that we want you to be ready for, that we want you to accept without revolt, accept without judgment, accept without comments. We can always say the following, God the Father or Mother never makes mistakes. So once again let's affirm that everything that happens in your world has nothing to do with decisions by Father or Mother God, with punishments by Father or Mother God so that you are punished. You are just reaping everything you have sown over time. But now I can say yes, there will be the hand of Father or Mother God interceding on this planet. The mess is over, the chaos is over. You will be an evolved race, and as such, you will need to act like an evolved race. Then everything that binds them to the past, to terror, to everything that was not planned by God the Father or Mother, will be eliminated. You will have the chance to live in a new world with concepts and laws very different from what you have today. So we just say that now yes, there will be the hand of Father or Mother God acting throughout the planet. And how will the hand of God the Father or Mother act? Through us, we are your representatives. The beings of light that are around, all those who are participating in this evolution of the planet, are fulfilling orders from Father or Mother God. We know it won't be easy, we know you won't understand, and worst of all, we will judge. I just say that we are not worried about that, you will need to learn to live in the new world where universal laws will have to be fulfilled. The planet will no longer have its own laws, you will live under universal laws that are much more severe and much more productive than the laws you have on this planet. So it will be up to each one of you to find your balance point to find that point where you will continue to believe in us or not. This will be up to you. If you want to judge us, you will no longer respect us, it's a shame, because you will still be stuck with everything you were taught, which brought your planet to where it is today. So how come everything you live is correct? Look at the point you have reached, do you live happily and peacefully? Is your world egalitarian? No one goes hungry. Does everyone have the right to everything? Many will still respond, but it has to be like that, everyone gets what they deserve. So I answer you, it's a shame, because you are still stuck with the beliefs that you have been taught for a long time. Then it will be up to you in the coming moments to simply erase from your minds everything you have learned, everything that your laws and your rulers have imposed on you and start to see the world in another way, a truly egalitarian world a world where everyone will have the right to everything, a world where no one will go hungry, where no one is superior to anyone else. If this is a utopia for you or if it is something that does not resonate in your hearts, that is okay, so you will continue following your path in the third dimension, without any problems. You still have a long way to go, to learn that the world is not this, the world cannot be this, it cannot be what you live in today. So start taking a stand, start taking a stand without judgment, start taking a stand just living each moment. It doesn't matter what will come, it doesn't matter what you will see, it doesn't matter what you will know. What matters is that you will be freed, what matters is that you will be totally free from any type of slavery. So start cutting ties, with a lot of things that you believe in and that you think is right. The truths will not be easy and you will need to have a lot of faith, a lot of determination, a lot of balance, so that you can stand and fall on your feet. Otherwise, 
you will blend in with the rest, and the journey you have taken so far will have been of no use. Because you will not be accepting anything, you will be judging us and regretting having reached this point. But we always say, it's everyone's choice. Each one of you, it's as if you were finishing a cycle at school, where now you have to decide which way to go. They will try to reach higher levels or they will want to stay there, what they learned is good. That's enough, I don't need to go from here. Great, then you will be making a choice and of course, it will not be on this planet that you will live it. Now, if you choose to evolve, then yes, you will face a series of obstacles and tests. Nothing ends, nothing is defined, your journey is just beginning. Like everything new you start, you never know if you will finish. But if you have willpower, faith and confidence, there's no reason it won't work out, there's no reason you won't get there. So just choose what you want to live, you want to accept what was said doesn't matter, what will be said you will trust, you will accept, you won't judge, you will just continue your walk. I just say one thing to each of you, what will be done in your world will not directly affect you specifically, unless you want to hurt for the other, unless you want to suffer the suffering of the other. So once again I say, look at your path, forget about the other persons. Take charge of your path, take charge of your evolution, forget what happens around you. Are you hurting for someone you think you knew, but who deep down wasn't at all what you thought they were? I would tell you it will be a waste of time. You are used to idolizing humans, you put humans on a pedestal. And I will tell you, from these pedestals, the vast majority will fall and you will greatly regret idolizing them. You don't idolize another brother, you don't idolize anything, not even us. We don't want idolatry, we don't want passion, we want a light and pure love, that's all. So why idolize a brother? He is as human as you are. Is he everything he appears to be, is he as perfect as you imagine? Or is that just a shell? You will have that answer. So stop idolizing anyone because no one deserves idolatry. Idolatry is a third dimension thing, where you stop living your way to live the other's way. We've talked about this several times here. So begin, if you haven't started yet, looking at your own path, forget the other's path and forget what will happen to the other. Ah, you suffered for the other's defeat, for the other's unmasking, why? Is that other part of you? is that other part of your body? So why hurt for him, then why suffer for him? No one has to suffer for anyone, everyone has to look their own way. Suffering is part of each person's journey and if that other person encountered suffering, it is part of their journey, you don't have to suffer together. Understand this. Many still don't understand and many still don't accept this. They think they need to nullify their lives to experience the suffering of others. And I tell you, this too reverberates, this too has a harvest, stop experiencing the suffering of others. I'm not here telling anyone to abandon anyone, you can love, you can care, but without suffering the suffering of others, this is entirely possible. So be ready, more ready every day, because each day brings the big day closer. Many think that once again we are lying that nothing will happen. So wait and when it happens, then you will believe it. And then you'll want to see how your behavior will be. Will you trust and land on your feet or will you get tangled up with the mass, with the wave, with the mud that will form around you? Then you'll want to see each one of you.